po sa inyo lahat. Sorry po daw sa kanta. May blessing po kasi po kanil natin. Ang tapo natin yung blessing po kasi po. So, um, I, I guess po, iba po sa inyo ay nakarinig na po sa author by the name of William Baby. I have a book po na, I have po, ay meron po akong book niya na sinu- ang pamagat po, What God Has For Us. So, sabi po ng, sabi po ng Rescue the Perishing po, may, may paragraph po siya doon na sinulat at sinabi niya po siya. Sabi niya, down in the human heart, crushed by the cancer. Feeling slime buried that great can restore. Touched by a loving heart, weakened by kindness. Words that are broken will find their once more. So, meron po siyang, meron po siyang story na nilagay po doon. He, ayun, meron po siyang, meron po siyang nakausap ang old Jew, the inventor of the neutron bomb na ang gawa po ng US. And then, naka, nakausap niya po yung old Jew na po yun, try to share him the gospel. And that, then that old Jew would always deny what the Bible says. Until that time po, share lang po siya ng share, na, na-disgust siya po yung old Jew na po yun, na dulas po sa hagdana, na bali po yung likod. Alam mo ba ang ginawa niya? Pinad- pinadala niya ng wheelchair. Pinadala niya rin. Sabi ko na old Jew na yun, thank you. Pinadala niya ng mga prutas, pinadala niya ng mga prutas. Until po, nung malapit na po makatay po yung old Jew na po yun, that old Jew got saved. English Bible po si Chu. Sabi ko ng kanta po, Down in the human heart, crushed by the center, Feeling like buried that grace can restore. Touched by a loving heart, wakened by kindness, Words that are broken will buy them once more. I know po, marami po tayo mga unsaved loved ones. Just keep telling them about the Lord Jesus Christ. Just keep telling them about the Lord Jesus Christ. They know that there are God. But until po, ay convict po yan ang Holy Ghost po sa kanila, yung sinabi po ng kanta that, that uh, awakened by kindness, calls that are broken will vibrate once more. Amen? So, in this Bible, it could be true. Not, my, not, not mighty men after the flesh are called. Yeah. I will sing po, Calvary, 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 Calvary. Amen. Ini tu mula ni nak tahu. Ini, ini tu best ini tu ko sa It may not, it may not be my voice not really pleased to you, but I, I rather please God rather than men. Amen, amen. Lord, we were that old that the world can impart was the message that came to my heart. How that Jesus alone for my sin did atone. I 
I therefore beseech you, in verse 30, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Okay? But lastly, I therefore beseech you, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. I hope you heard the message. It could be through recording or whatever. Me or Sanoko. If you got that side, you can come up behind. Now let's go to uh, our 13th beseeching, and I believe this is our 15th week of this series. Um, it's that's in verse 31. No? Therefore, I therefore beseech you, let all bitterness, this is our 13th beseeching, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, and claymore, evil speaking, and with all malice be put away from you. Okay, I therefore beseech you, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, claymore, evil speaking, and with all malice be put away from you. Now, if you are going to read that, the basa na natin and we preach by the grace of God in chapter number 4, uh, we get we encounter these words. It starts in verse number 22 that he put off concerning the former conversation, which is the old man. And that old man has something, okay? Meron kasi siyang tinatawag, which is corrupt. Meron siyang former conversation, okay? That old man has a former conversation. Ang, ang itutok mo yung old man para madala yung former conversation. Okay? That you put off concerning the former conversation. The old man. Okay? Now, ito po ay we preach. Ito po ano na, old man, new man. Then, pagdating po natin is verse 25. Wherefore, putting away lying. We do have also another teaching about that. Wherefore, putting away lying. But speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Now, then, here we come in verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and claim more and evil speaking be put away from you with all money. Now, the reason behind why we should put it away because we already have a new man. We don't need that old man. That's why any conversation that that kasama po ng old man na yon must be put away. Amen. Amen. Must be done away. Amen. Amen. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So we have new things and that we have the new man because we are a new creature. And what we need today is the deeds of the new creature, the conversation of the new man or the new creature. That, therefore, let's put it off. Let's put it away. Amen. With all malice, evil speaking, be put away from you with all malice. Now, uh, so there are things, bago po natin, let's, let's try to define or differentiate itong isa-isa po na ito. We have first bitterness, wrath, then anger, then claim more, then evil speaking, then malice. Dati, iba ang pagkaintindi ko niya. Iput away mo yun na may kasamang malisya. Yan ang pagkaintindi ko dati. That's wrong, okay? Yung mali, isama mo din sa pagput away. Okay? Kasi yung word na all, that gives you the idea, okay? Yung all bitterness. Not just bitterness, but all bitterness. Walang matitira. Amen? Hello? All wrath. Walang matitira. Amen? All anger. Ala, mahirap po ito na preaching. Do you not know? Because, bakit ako nahihirapan? Bakit tayo nahihirapan? Because our goal is to apply it. Amen. Yes. Yes. This is not a suggestion. Amen. Yes. Let's put this away. Amen. Yes. Mahirap. Kaya ang demand ay all. Yes. We really need help from the Lord. Amen. He claim more evil speaking and mal. Now I find it that this is this is really an entire order that binigay ko ng Panginoon sa atin. Okay, let's go to the word bitterness. I refer this to Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Listen. Don't worry. 
the Webster's 1828 is designed for the King James. Yeah. 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 So I don't have to go to the Greek. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? But in the Bible, correct us, correct us for the King James Bible. But bitterness, extremely uh, enmity. So the word enmity is violent hatred. So extremely enmity, grudge, hatred. Extremely grudge, extremely hatred, extremely enmity. Extreme. What's the word extreme? Or excessive emotion. Especially yung anger. Ito sa, sa ano po na yun. Kasi dalawa po ang, dalawa po ang, ano po na ito, dalawa po ang pwede natin makuha na definition po sa bitter. Okay? Or what we call severity of temper. So, severe means grabe ng temper. Init ng ulo. Yung galit. Oo, that's the bitterness, no? Hatred, grudge. And then po. So, of temper. Watch. Go to Acts 8. Tingnan mo. May isang fellow po dyan, sa Acts 8, verse number 23, na meron po siyang gall of bitterness. Watch. Chapter number 8, verse number 23, ang nag-deal po nito si, si Peter. Okay? Watch. Sabi po niya dito, si Simon po ito na ipisa, no? The sorcerer. But verse number 22, Repent therefore of the, thy wickedness and pray God, if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. Verse 23, watch. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness, and in the bond of iniquity. Now, let's go to another verse. Let's go to Romans 3. Now, watch. I'm just going through sa, sa, alongside with our definition sa ano po, sa atin pong word na bitterness. Look at Romans 3, verse number 14. The Bible says in uh, verse 13, Their throat is an open sepulcher, with their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of ash is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and what? Bitterness. Itong bitterness nito is to be a result of anger. Okay? So it's not the bitterness na ita. Kasi mayroon kang makikita sa Bible na bitterness of the soul. That's another thing. Ang, ang, it, ang ibig sabihin po nun is vexation. The spirit. Okay? Now, um, Yung isa na ano, with, with associated sa galit, okay? itong bitterness na associated sa galit, yun po yung sa Ephesians 4.31, yung text natin, that let all bitterness be put away. Okay, associated po sa galit, bakit? After ng bitterness, wrath, anger. So hindi, iba po yun. May isa pong bitterness na in sorrow or painful affliction, vexation, Isa is deep distress of the mind. So, isa is vexation, painful affliction. So, has something to do sa loob. You don't have to rage about it, okay? But andun po sa loob, deep distress of the mind. It is, this is not anymore associated with anger, but it is now associated with sorrow. Okay? Now, let's go to some verses. 1 Samuel. Sino po ang sa 1 Samuel chapter number 1 na humingi po ng anak? Okay? Yun po. Si Hannah. 1 Samuel chapter number 1 ginamit po sa kanya yung term ng bitterness. Look at verse number ano po? Verse number 10. And she was in what? Bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. Hindi po siya galit or something Meron na po siyang deep distress in the mind or in the heart. Hello? Or vexation as associated with sorrow that gusto po niya na ano. Hello? That this bitterness could be sa atin. Kaya lang, this is a self-destruct. Associated po to sa discouragement. Hello? Mahirap din po ito. Kaya matamlay po tayo. It could be na-attack po tayo ng bitterness. Ng so bitterness of the soul. Now, that's the first mention of the word bitterness, by the way. 
Now let's go to Job chapter number 7. Job chapter number 7. Ano po sabi sa Job chapter number 7? The Bible says in verse number ano, verse number 11. Now watch. 7 verse number 11. 7 11. The Bible says in verse number 11, sabi ni Job, no? Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. What's the word anguish? I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. This is not the bitterness associated with hatred, associated with wrath, associated with anger. Hello? This bitterness of the soul is associated with anguish, with sorrow, vexation. Hello? Okay, this is another thing. Kasi, bago po tayo mag-proceed sa ibig sabihin ng Ephesians chapter 4, we have to see muna ng bitterness sa Bible. Look at chapter number 10. Chapter number 10. Verse number 1. My soul is weary of my life. Pambira. Naka-experience na po ba kayo? Napapagod kayo sa inyong buhay. Kayo is the soul. Sa inyong buhay. Hello? My soul is weary of my life. I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will seek in the bitterness of my soul. Has something to do with weariness. Remember? Sorrow. Anguish. Hello? I will seek. Parang, gusto niyang i-express. Kasi, this is a deep distress na sa loob. By the way, stress and distress are not the same. That's right. The, the stress is more than stress after stress after stress after stress. Stress has something to do with physical. The stress is w stress within. Hello? So, look at Prob uh, no, Job 21. Muna. Job 21, verse 25. Job 21, verse 25. The Bible says in verse number 25, Another dieth in the bitterness of his soul, and never eateth with pleasure. You see, ang association, ano ito? Pleasure, then bitterness. Ano po ito? Something to do with pleasure and sorrow. Hello? Something to do sa loob. Hindi po ito associated sa galit na, na, na bitterness. Another thing. Let's go to Proverbs chapter number 17. Proverbs 17. Sometimes, pag... Ito, we are not careful, no? Every time mag-preach tayo ng bitterness, we go agad. Nakala mo, lahat ng bitterness sa Bible has something to do with anger. It could be anger sa sarili. But, ay, yung bitterness na yun, it's to another na naman yun, yung isa. 16. Okay, Proverbs, ano na, 16, 17. Look at verse number 25. Now watch. 17, 25. A foolish son. Opo is a grief to his father and bitterness to her nanay niya yun that bear so what's the word bitterness because we believe when our King James built in dictionary man. so ano yung word associated most likely yun yung definition po niya nagbibigay po sa atin ng idea no? ng idea ng definition na yun so kanina napuntahan po natin associated with this pleasure associated with grief ngayon, grief then sorrow and all of those stuff. It's nothing to do with anger with to another. But deep within the deep distress of the mind and of the heart. Hello. Pero nevertheless, mga kapatid, nevertheless, kung hindi yun, if, hindi yun ang distress na ibig sabihin ko doon sa Ephesians 4.31. But nevertheless, we have a scripture that can give us comfort, that can give us hope. We have salvation. We have the indwelling Christ in us. Let all bitterness of the soul be put away. Now, let's go to the bitterness for the no, young anger. So that should be put away. By the way, mga kapatid, pag meron ka ng bitterness after you rage, that bitterness is Yun po, I don't think, mga kapatid, only Jesus Christ can take that away. I don't think there is sorry or apology that can take away bitterness. That is already so deep. Hello? Yung bitterness na galit mo 
puhot mo or hatred mo, extreme to, hindi lang to basta-basta ang grudge. Hello? Nakapanood na kayo ng the grudge, amen? Hindi lang to basta-basta ang hatred. Hindi lang to basta-basta ano po mga kapatid, yung, yung enmity, yung violent hatred. But this is extreme, excessive emotion. Na nasa'yo, na parang makita mo lang yung tao na yun, na sunog na siya para sa'yo. Namatay na sana siya. Maalis na sana siya. Parang yung ang yung yung decide magnanag every time you see that person. Hello? That is so extreme that you wish that person to die. You wish that person would never more. Have you experienced that? Kind of bitter? Hello? Experience that I don't think Because it could be that person has done something violently to you. You cannot swallow even his appearance. You cannot even see his face directly. Because you might afraid that there will be bullets that will fly in his forehead. Hello. But what did we say? Let all be there. Saan po nang gagaling ang Peter? Proverbs 14. Proverbs 14. Amen. Look at Proverbs 14. Verse number 10. Proverbs 14. Verse number 10. By the way mga kapatid, you're the only person who knows about this Peter. Verse number 10. The heart knoweth his own bitterness. And a stranger does not intermeddle with his joy. Now watch. Saan po? Sino po nakakalam po dito? Saan ang gagaling po ito? Alam na alam mo. Ladies and gentlemen, listen very carefully. We are members one of another. Wala ka ng place ang bitterness. Pag may bitterness ka, huwag ka nilang magsimba. Because you are not worshiping God at all. Because you can sleep, you can you can stand with that person that you have bitterness. It will affect worship. It will affect praising the Lord. It will affect your thanksgiving. It will keep you up until you will swallow up and there's no more forgiveness. Hello. Okay. Sabi ni Paul, let all bitterness be put away. What a place we are dito. Dahil magkakapatid po tayo. Isa po tayo ni Cristo. Each one of us are member one to another. To the point that you'd like to devour that person. You'd like to keep that person or murder that person. Hindi mo man sa pinatay. Pero sa puso mo, sa isipan mo, pinatay mo na. Sa experience. Pupuntaan ng church, mag-iwasan. Wala pa yung sarili yun. Sarili yun na yun. Iwan mo yun ng sarili yun. But we are part of the body of Christ, kung ikaw ay say. We are a church, and Christ is the head, and each one of us are brethren. Hello, put that away. We don't need that here. That could cause division. That could destroy families. Hello? That could destroy testimony. Look at Hebrews chapter number 12. Here's the 